Hello everyone, uh, today I will show you how to record voice in ASP.NET web form. So first of all add a new web form in, into your project, into your website also. And after doing this you can add two button control. First one, uh, first button control is used to record voice and you can say record the audio and sound. And the second button control is used to stop as well as save the file in the C drive and must first of all must to uh, add a folder in the c drive and after that you can add the winmm.dll file by using the dll imports you know very well the dll imports is actually exist in the uh, interoperable services uh, namespace and uh, first of all the mm, you uh, if you know about your uh, uh, winmm.dll file we have a single method that is uh, mci send string method with the four parameters the first parameter is denoted by the command and the second parameter is used for your uh, returning your string and third is returning part and the length and the fourth parameter is callback when you assign an string uh, or you can say uh, to save the file or you can say save the path it here and the second parameter is used to returning that is null always and the fourth parameter is the length that is always zero because it's a start from the zero and the last parameter is also callback is zero so there are the four parameters to use in this uh, in this tutorial now uh, please listen really careful if uh, if doesn't want to uh, uh, if you want uh, run the file uh, or you can say create audio file or you can say uh, record audio and sound by using microphone so must to add MCI send string or you can say call the MCI send string method in the constructor because the first your uh, your file or you can say your class uh, when load your MCI send string file is also loaded with the following parameters. So you watch this and learn many more things about um, uh, winmm.dll file. So here we have four parameters that is command, sync builder, return path and callback. Okay, now open the system so you can give the proper message open new type wave audio alias uh, alias record okay uh, open type audio waveform alias rec record sound null in the returning string and the returning path is also zero the or you can say the length of the returning path that is zero and callback is also zero so you can uh, paste this uh, string in all the methods as well as button click on the button one click you want to record your sound and in the button two you want to save this file and uh, stop that file so in the page load first when we click on the button one then automatically call that is button one and initialize that string initialize that MCI set is string with the recording for the road recording so record sound so you can watch it and please subscribe my channel and also like this video and subscribe my channel don't forget it please 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 I request you and uh, please again I request you please subscribe my channel thank you very much and you can check your output clearly and you make your ourself, uh, ourself in into your visual studio and for the better uh, programming thank you very much